welcome to our channel. If you're new to our channel, welcome to you. We're going to be reading for the lovely Taurus. So Taurus, let's have a look at what's going on this week for you. I'd like to concentrate on your financial situation to start with this week. So let's just have a look at what they are saying about your finances. What is going on with Taurus and their financial situation? And we have the world. So it's saying regarding your finances at this moment in time, you are well balanced in your financial situation. And I also want to say for some of you, it's a saying like the world is your oyster. So for some of you embarking, um, maybe have just qualified uh, in a certain field and it's like saying the world is your oyster. You have attained um, your qualifications and you can attract, because I look at this card as well, it's an energy that is pulling in resources and you can attract the financial stability that you wish for. So I feel some of you this week regarding your finances, as I said, some of you can be sitting pretty, so to speak, and you feel you are quite financially stable. Whereas I feel others of you um, could be using your skills and abilities that you've attained over the last few months. And it's as though, as I said, the world is your oyster. So that is interesting. Let's just get another card out to clarify. The financial situation. And we have the two of wands. So a lot of you um, who I'm picking up with here, regarding your financial situation, it's saying that some of you could have saved up money because you haven't been able to go anywhere. You haven't been able to go on holiday. And there's this longing within you to think I'll be glad when I can spend my money again I'll be glad when I can just go out into the world purchase what I wish to go into a shop and see something that I really like and I can actually feel it touch it smell it because I feel like Taurus has detached themselves they are not in the world of financial um, reality that they are used to so that's what I feel it's going through your mind on your finances this week so we'll move on from the finances and we'll have a look at what is in your love life or relationship stance this week and i'm going to grab the animal spirit cards to start off with this just to get some key players for taurus what have we got for taurus who have we got for taurus who is driving Taurus mad? I feel like I want to say that for some of you. We have, wow, the hyena, which is the alchemical sign of fire. And we have, oh, wow, and we have the vulture, which is the alchemical sign of air. As soon as I look at those two characters there um, in these cards, I am picking up with some Taurians who are currently having battles in a relationship now whether this is in marriage whether this is just you know a boyfriend girlfriend scenario there is a situation going on here where one of you is sort of laughing at one of you in the face one of you is you know very flippant and thinking I'm not really bothered I don't give a jack really I was only in it for a laugh a bit of a joke and then the vulture is like how dare you? How dare you treat me this way? How dare you, you know, take it so flippant? I feel like one of you was quite serious and the other one was in this relationship and it was just for the fun of it, the hell of it, nothing too serious. So I feel for some of you on the love aspect here, we've got two characters going on. We've got this energy situation of where somebody is not happy. They're really going out for the jugular, which I feel the vulture is there right, waiting to attack. And then the hyena, the other person who's just saying, you know what, you do what you want, I'm just laughing, it's like, it doesn't bother me. So I do feel that energy, I'm picking up for the romantic, for some of you, not all of you. For others, I feel that um, the hyena can interpret that um, someone is bringing laughter into a relationship as well, where one of you could have had... Um, you know, a really rough time of it and there's somebody trying to uplift your spirit that you have taken quite a shine to and they are trying to um, 
lift your spirits i feel taurus for some of you on the romantic like i say this is not going to resonate with everybody but this is the energies that i'm picking up for those who i'm reading with so we've done finances we've done love i'm going to have a look at your health so let's have a look what's going on in your health this week situation anything that you should make note of anything that you may be suffering at this moment in time so let's have a look at the health situation around my lovely Torians. What's going on in the health? Health, 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 health. And we have, wow, the three of wands. Now then, this is um, straight as it uh, sort of looks at me. I'm picking up with some Torians whose health has put them on stop, put them on hold from doing what they love to do. I feel some of you could be looking um to have fractured or broken either your leg or an arm and it's took you out of the mainframe for a little a little while i feel if this hasn't happened and i don't like to predict things but i feel on a health situation it could be that um it's either you or are looking after somebody who may have injured themselves and as i said they are thinking to themselves how long now before i can get back to my normal um routine so I'm picking up with some Taurians here with the health where it has taken you out of action or it's taken somebody out of action. So that's interesting. Let's just have a, another card for the health side for Taurus this week. Yeah, and we've got the Two of Swords. Now the Two of Swords can indicate um, somebody struggling uh, sleeping, not being able to sleep, very agitated as well. I, all, I look at the crows as being anxiety depression feeling that um i feel like agitation like agitated when 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 you can't settle you can't rest so i've got that kind of energy around some of my taurians as well this week okay so let's have a look at the unexpected let's have a look at the unexpected that's coming in this week what have we got for Taurus? The challenges that may be coming in this week. The unexpected for Taurus. I don't feel is going on for Taurus. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles comes in in the challenge position. And the challenge position for you is, I feel this is coming on from the health because I, I always look at the red pillow here, uh, the cushion that's behind the person in the Queen of Pentacles. And it's like to say, something's being put on hold this week. Where you thought you may be able to get something completed, something finished, it's like to say, You've got to sit and wait, uh, just sit and wait it out. So the challenge this week for you is to sit and wait something out. There's a red flag here for some of my Torians as well um, to do with your finances, to do with your finances. And although I said at the very start of this that uh, most of you have got things un under control, um, I feel that there's just an outlay here, an unexpected outlay where you will have it covered, don't get me wrong, you'll have the money there. Um, but it's like to say, oh gosh, I didn't expect that to happen. I've had to dip in my finances and cover. It could be something that breaks down. It could be to do with your car repair. It's something like that that is unexpected where money has to be taken out, but the money is there. It's not going to be an issue. But I also feel, as I said, for some of you, um, you've got to sit and wait a little bit longer for something to do with le something legal, um, papers that you are expecting to come through to sign. Um, and the communication card has just bailed itself, itself out of the pack along with the Ten of Wands. So... You are waiting for some communication. You will have to wait for some communication in order for you to move on to the next stage. Okay. So I'm just going to have a look at what the universe sees you as this week. Because I do like to bring in the universe card. 
how are they seeing you this week, Taurus? And we have this card here. It's a lovely card because her focus is on a golden opportunity. Her focus is on a nest egg. Um, so the universe is saying you are planning for something as we saw in the two of ones at the very start in the financial part of this reading. So you've, you are rooted at the moment. You can't put this into fruition, so to speak. But the finances are there, the plans are there, and it's just about divine timing. The universe is taking this photograph to say, not long now, before you can put this plan of action in place, which fits in lovely really um, with the Queen of Pentacles and then the communication and then, you know, being allowed to move on. So it's just saying you've just got to wait that little bit longer. But can you see the sun breaking through in this card here? She's like at the edge of a wood, what she's sort of come to. And it's like to say the clearing is nearly coming through. So it's a lovely reading, Taurus. I hope you can take something from that uh, read this week. Don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs because that could be extended readings as well. Please like, comment or uh, share and subscribe to keep my channel um, growing. And I will look forward to reading to you next time. So take care, my lovelies. Bye then.